Hey guys, okay, so this is totally impromptu, off the cuff. I was not intending to film a video today, so my makeup is not exactly top notch. Excuse it, I'm sorry, I apologize. I thought it was better that I get this video out there because I went shopping today. Um, this is my face for shopping, but I'm going to show you, excuse the crinkle. I went shopping. So I went shopping today for T2, Mecha Maxima and for Priceline stuff. I was planning on getting all of the Christmas kits from Mecha Maxima but they didn't have them. They will have them on Tuesday so I'll be doing another haul and that haul will have perhaps a, a twist, a plot twist maybe. So stay tuned for it. Um, we'll start with the stuff that I got from T2 because it's not exactly beauty related but I still bought it and I still want to show you. I got the oh Gorgeous Geisha, love this stuff, and the Detox. Um, gorgeous Geisha I just really love because it's tasty. I think it's this one. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Gorgeous I'm pretty sure Gorgeous Geisha is the one that comes in the green tea collective package thing and it's amazing and I love it. Um, it's kind of just soothing and strawberry-ish and stuff. And detox I get because it is um, really beneficial if you suffer from bloating. This stuff also really helps aid in weight loss. So I get this because it helps with my metabolism and my digestive processes and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, detox. And then the final thing that I got is kind of a gift for my boyfriend whose birthday is on Tuesday. It's also kind of a gift for me because I will certainly be using it as well. Um, hopefully he doesn't watch this. I don't think he will. But oh, 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 oh. it is the Big Chill and it's basically a massive like water jug with like a tea diffuser inside and it's made of a special plastic glass thing that basically has no problem going from boiling hot to freezing cold temperatures. So you boil water and turn, turn it into tea in the jug and it comes with two teas in here. Um, and then you put it in the fridge and it turns into ice tea. And the two teas it comes with are strawberries and cream and Turkish apple. So 12 teaspoons of tea, screw and fuse a basket into the lid, um, fill three quarts full of boiling water, place the freezer in the jug, blah blah blah, not screw. Okay, not okay. Anyways, I'm not gonna read the instructions, you guys don't have it. So I got that because my boyfriend's always buying like iced tea and I keep telling him we have tea. So stop buying iced tea, I can make you iced tea. And so now it's like, here's a gift that you'll never have to use because I will always make you iced tea. Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> now let's talk about me, okay? I did a little bit of shopping for me. For my, for my. Uh, we'll start with the. This was an impulse buy. I was so close to walking away and not buying it. Um, I've I've spent a lot of time not buying it. I've spent a lot of time putting it off. But I did it. I bought the chocolate bar palette, and I am not even ashamed to say it. I'm actually kind of happy with this decision. Um. I'm sorry, I was oh, so cute. I am, a, I, I swear I'm not a sucker for packaging. I swear I'm not a sucker for limited edition stuff, but apparently I am. And look at it. Oh my God, it smells like chocolate. Oh my God. And it comes with a mirror and my makeup is ratchet. And it has, I always like to keep these sheets. You probably can't even see that that have all the names on it. But there are some really amazing colors in here. Like I was swatching uh, this bluey purple and this color, um, as well as this guy over here. There's a great mixture of both mattes and shimmers. You've got some sparkles as well. It's not even something that I normally gravitate towards because I'm like, it's all just pretty much boring neutrals. But the fact that it's a perfect blend of matte neutrals as well as shimmer neutrals, and I guess it just looks cute. I don't know. I don't know. I I caved. I caved. I know. I think it's a yes. It's a magnetic closure, guys. Um, all my hauls are 
like off the cuff so I don't tell you what I think of them because I haven't tried them yet. It also comes with, as always, the instruction card. I don't know. I bought it. I did it. I'm sorry. Okay. If you want a tutorial on that to see whether you want to get it, then let me know. I will play around with it. I'll see what I like. I'll do some tutorials. Then from Mecha Maxima, I also, okay, I needed a cleanser and I know that I like the Kate Somerville, um, like detox range, the blue packaging. <laughs> uh, so I got the Kate Somerville detox daily cleanser. Um, that was $36. So, yeah, uh, it's got some salicylic acid in there as well as some tea tree oil, some tangerine peel oil, yeah, aloe vera um, leaf juice powder, all sorts of good stuff. I'm going to give it a go. I'll see what I think. It might be my favorites. It might be in my empties. We'll see. And then, because, oh, okay, am I level one yet? Maybe not. Um, I was asking her about the Beauty Insider card thing. Um, and it says level one, you need three hundred to six hundred dollars spending, and then PD devotee is six hundred to one thousand two hundred, and then beauty aficionado is twelve thousand twelve hundred plus. But anyways, uh, that's just a freebie that tells me about how much I need to spend. And then I was like, hey, I haven't got any Nars products, so. I got a NARS lipstick and a NARS lip gloss. Um, I got Turkish Delight lip gloss because I've been told that it is the most amazing colour ever. And I don't know, I thought, okay, I'll start with something that everyone likes. This is apparently Kim Kardashian's makeup artist's favourite colour. So, and it doesn't smell like that weird stuff that people used to say it smelled like. Can you guys see that? So it's like a baby pink glossy nudie color. It's kind of cute. And then I got the pure matte lipstick in Madeira? 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 I don't really know. Oh my god, it's so cute. Nars! This is a like concealer nude lipstick and because it's super matte, whoop, does that show up? Did that show up? No. It's literally super nude because I've been wanting something to nude out my lips for a really long time and I thought this way I can nude them out like crazy and then I can bring the color back and I should have a really nice pout going on but if you guys have any favorite NARS products please let me know because I am venturing slightly I am exploring the, the NARS world and that's everything I got from Becca Maxima so that was $167 I believe uh, it was $171, so I'm pretty close to being a beauty insider. And then I went to Priceline, this is my final stop off as far as like beauty shopping goes, and then I got the boyfriend some more stuff, but I can't tell you about that because if he does watch it, those are the things that he's going to really hate me for. I got the Ardell Lash Growth Enhancer, the Ardell Magic Lash Growth Enhancer rather, because I've tried this before and it worked amazingly and I ran out and I was like, I was kind of on the hunt for other drugstore lash growth serums, but I couldn't find any drugstore, ver drugstore versions. And I decided I'm not going to spend $300 on one, so I'll just get this. And that, I, I swear by this stuff, it is $22. So try it out at least. Then I got the Simple Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes because I've tried these. These are my mom's favorite ones. And she let me try one once when I was staying at her place when I was living in Sydney. I had makeup. Oh my god, the hiccups. I was staying at her place and she let me use one so I took my makeup off, makeup off with it and it was amazing. I hope those are the right ones. And then I was at the Revlon area and I got the, oh yeah, I was late on this train too. The Color Burst Matte Balm in 215 Shameless, I think. Yes, Shameless. And thankfully they use these little sticky things that people don't get into them and this is totally not on the realm of nudes. It's a point ball. Because everyone needs a matte point ball. And then I saw, now I don't know if anyone else has reviewed these yet or if you guys want a review on them, but um, 
Revlon have some Color Stay Gel Envy polishes, and it was a two step process. So you put this polish on, which is apparently the base coat and the color coat in one, and then you go in with your Color Stay Diamond Top Coat, and it makes it a gel polish. There's no UV involved, from what I know, otherwise I'm gonna have to get them refunded. Yeah, it's a long wear nail enamel. And I got them in the colour Pocket Aces, which is a really nice summery um, peach. And Sky's the Limit, which is a really nice kind of metallic-y, I guess a sea green blue? Sea blue? Sea foam green blue? And then of course I got the Colour Envy Gel Envy, Colour Stay Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat, which isn't a colour, but I needed it because otherwise these things won't work. But I'll tell you how it goes. And that was everything. So I hope that wasn't too rambly. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, those Revlon polishes are $11.95 currently. I think they're on sale. So go get you some if they're good. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have tried any of these products, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you want me to try anything else out. I am still waiting to do my Sigma order, so if you have anything from Sigma that you want me to review, leave a comment down below. I will order it, I will review it for you, I will tell you whether to buy it or not. I will even personal message you and let you know what I thought, okay? Um, other than that, I'm actually going to go, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to start playing around with my stuff. I love you guys, have an amazing day, bye!